we're here on the range today and we've got some new Cobra product for next year. So I've got some drivers and some irons, just going to give them a quick whack. We've got the S3 iron, got the Cobra rep here. Merrick, so what's the S3? What does it do? The S3, um, it is a, a stronger, lofted, more powerful option to the predecessor S2. Okay, so it's got more loft, it's less loft, so it's strong, yeah? Strong, it's a strong, powerful club. It, it has a really thin face, so the reason why you haven't been able to implement thin face technology in an iron before is because it's made out of steel. Okay, so, so what's this made out of? So it's still it's a, it's a different grade of steel where you can make it thinner and it still retains the strength. Okay. So in titanium you see thin face drivers and you get face flex and more ball speed. Yeah, yeah. You've actually got that into an iron now. Okay, so S3 we're saying it's got a thinner face, it's got this lovely black finish on the back and then silver on the bottom silver on the face, similar to the TaylorMade 2.0, which uh, Cobra are going to love me saying. Yeah, well, that's, that's, <laughs> I'm quite happy with that um, comparison. Looking down on it, it's got a little bit of offset, is not it? It has, it has, so, you know, all our clubs nice. generally, we probably will get a little bit more overlap into maybe the, the, the slightly lower handicap golfer, but this is primarily designed for Mr. 18 handicapper, but okay. you could get some overlap into maybe single figure golfer as well. Okay, so that's the Cobra S3, looks good, I mean it looks quite neat, the top line isn't too chunky, but you have got a nice fixed sole on that, I do like the finish, the colours look really yep. cool, yep. it does feel good off the face. Okay, next one we've got here, we've got the Forged S3 Pro, so this is more your players club, uh, I think I've read this has got a bit of input from Ian Poulter, your main guy, isn't it Mr Cobra? That's right, that's right. So, so he's designed the way it looks a little well, bit? Well he's had some input into the new iron, yeah, yeah. The, um, it seems to be the trend at the moment, they prefer satin finish as okay. opposed to chrome or... So it's a slightly off chromey finish, so we're calling that satin, which is quite nice, less glare or something that's maybe? That's right, that's right. I mean, it's a classic looking base. It's got a little bit of offset on it, actually, which is uh, different for a better players club. So you've got, you've got a combo set here, um, which basically means uh, the 3, 4, 5, 6 is a CB cavity forging. Okay. And then the 7, 8, 9 pitching wedge is an MB muscle okay. back forging. Right, okay. So you've got... Okay, so the, the, basically the longer irons have got more of a muscle, is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, and then the yeah. shorter irons, less of a cavity, less of a muscle. Yeah. Okay, so it's a good looking iron, it feels good. It feels like your normal forged iron off the face. It does feel nice. Let's give it a whack. Yeah, it feels good. Looking down at it, I wouldn't say it's the prettiest club in the world for all the blades, but it does look good. Nice thin top edge, slender sole, and the satin finish does look cool actually. It looks like a nice iron. So that's the... S3 Pro for 2011. Okay, so two new drivers for Cobra 2011. S3 Max and then the normal S3. S3 Max features the, uh, if you're picking that up there, that offset basically in the corner there. So it's good for making the ball not go far to the right, so far to the right. Funny little design on the top. I'm not sure if that's cosmetic. Was that purely, purely visual. Okay. To try and help the slicer become a little bit more inside. We yeah, so that's quite clever actually. Is that kind of is helping you with your club path? That shape you can kind of visualise that coming into the ball to help you with your club path. If you start hitting that from out to in, which slicers do, those lines are going to show up. You're going to see them almost blurring through the shot. Let's give the S2 Max offset a quick wallop. Okay, so it feels solid. I mean, it makes quite a loud noise, which Cobra drivers are always semi-famous for. Goes left for me, which it should do be an offset. That feels good. I get the I like the lines on the top actually. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that's giving me a high draw with the offset, which it should do. Then we've got the S3 black silver face. This is the changeable technology uh, on the head. You can unscrew the head and set it up at different. It's got uh, open, neutral and closed. Okay, so this one you can literally just, you can't change the loft, but you can just change if it goes left or right, yeah? Yeah, the loft change is a, a real, it's very, a half a degree very small almost. amount, not enough to make any discernible yeah. difference. Okay, so this is the S3. Nice shape, it's actually, it's deeper than the old S2. Um, it's still a 460 head design, I think, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And it's got um, this funny kind of face on it where it's almost kind of beveled at the edges. What Cobra is saying is this performs good out the middle, quite similar to the S2 out the middle, but if you get it out the toe and the heel, which obviously club golfers are getting a lot of, um, it still performs, it still goes. Let's quickly give this a wallop. It does look nice to look down at, actually. 
Yeah, well, that goes. Sound is uh, it's is good. It's calmer, isn't it? Yeah, it's better sound. Not as loud as the Max. Bad sound is a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah. I just like to say that. Yeah, on, Cobra don't like to say better. Okay. All Cobra's clubs sound really good, don't they? That's right. Cobra. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> don't laugh, cameraman. Right, here we go. Yeah, it feels good. Okay, so that's the two Cobra S3 drivers for 2011. I like that, actually. There should be uh, some good things from that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.